ایشون برخلاف بسیاری از چهرهایشون While he had been selected by a popular vote for several years in a row as the most loved TV personality in Iran, but this path wasn't easy for him at all. Hosseini initially relocated to Dubai, primarily because he was pressured by television media authorities, which are government-regulated and hold a monopoly in Iran, to publicly support one of the presidential candidates in 2004. <laughs> After Hosseini's immigration to Dubai, the Iranian regime repeatedly tried to bring him back to Iran because they knew that such a well-loved public figure could become dangerous for them. At first, they tried to bribe him to return. Then the threat started. Finally, When they saw that neither of these methods would work, they started a new game. The Iranian regime, like all other dictatorships, start threatening and persuading him to come back to Iran. Iranian intelligence agents contacted Hosseini and suggested that he collaborate with them to establish a satellite network news channel. This news would be presented as oppositional propaganda that the regime would use to further its own agenda. He never cooperated with the regime. A few years later, Iranian regime started using this strategy, especially after sudden emergence of several Farsi language satellite network channels. Those are broadcasting commercial via Iran or Dubai. چیزی که سازمان اطلاعات به من گفت یعنی 85 درصد بیزنسمن های لس آنجلس اونایی که پول دارن مال اونا. در اینجا بود که دولت ایمان. At that point, the UAE government refused to extend the visa for him and his family under pressure from Iran. So he was forced to leave Dubai. The next destination was Cyprus. But Cyprus also proved to be an unsafe place for Hosseini and his family because the country, under pressure from Iran, issued an illegal deportation letter for Hosseini and his family. The first of all, you came to your wife and your child from Qibris. If you come to Qibris, if you come to a government school, و یه دونه خونه اجاره کنه نمیذارم اون نمیتونم بنزنم رفتم انگلیس گفت بفهم بیرون گفت فرما آره فلان کشور گفت چون مثلا من به همشون هم گفتم من با جمهوری اسلامی مشکل دارم درگیرم با جمهوری اسلامی میخواد ویزا بده بده میخواد نگه قرارمو برگردیم کشته بشیم بشیم تو رفتیم سفارت آمریکا گفتیم آقا ما مشکل 